Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical reports and in the previous videos we started with the get cursor, we discussed what is get cursor statement, what is the syntax of get cursor statement and in the last video I showed you in the debugging mode. In this particular variable, we will get the field name and in this particular variable, we will get the corresponding field value. So what is our requirement? If I will compare it to same to same previous requirement, if user is putting the cursor on the order number, we want to display the details of that order number on to the secondary list. What I will do in a parallel session, I will open in the debugging mode and then we will write the logic for the same. So in another session, I will put a breakpoint. I will show you in the debugging mode and parallelly we will write the logic. I'm executing. I will go for order number 1 to 5. Whenever I will double click, you all know, yes, I'm putting the cursor first. And whenever I will double click, you all know at line selection event will call. As of now, we are handling for order number itself. Because if we are comparing it to previous requirements, we are displaying the details of the order number onto the secondary list from the order item table. So we will achieve same to same requirement through get cursor. Firstly that, then I will come on to other columns also. Suppose I am double clicking. You all know at line selection event called and whenever I will execute this statement, here we have the in this LV field, we have the column or field and in LV value, we have the value. So I will write the logic for the same. I will firstly remove this get cursor. I will write if LV underscore field is equal to LWA underscore data hyphen O N O. It means user is putting the cursor on the order number column. This is what we want. If user is putting the cursor on the order number column, we will fetch the data from order item table. We will fetch the data from order item table. I will uncomment loop also. You all know for every if there is a end if. Now, now rather than psi l i s c l, we need to pass the variable in which variable we have the order number. And if I will show you in the debugging mode, in LV underscore value, we are getting the order number. So rather than using the system variable psi L I S C L, I will pass LV underscore value. You all know input is always on the right hand side. So in our current scenario, we put the cursor on order number one. So order number is equal to one. It will go to order item table. It will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table and we are displaying. So I put a if condition that yes, if user is putting the cursor on the order number column, yes, we will fetch that data from order item table based upon the value of that order number. 
now what i will do i will simply execute from this session and now i will put a break point into this particular session and we will understand are we getting the expected output or not so i will put a break point here as a part of add line selection i will go to execute I will go for order number 1 to 5. This is our basic list. Suppose I am putting the cursor on order number 2 and I am clicking on to choose button. You all know add line selection is called. So this particular statement got executed. So what is LV field? You put the cursor on order number column. So LV field is work area hyphen order number. And what is the value order number two? Yes, because what is the corresponding value two? You all know input is on the right hand side. It means order number is equal to two. It will fetch the data of these three column based upon order number two from this table and data will come into this internal table as of now this internal table has zero records suppose if i will do f6 firstly this if condition is true yes because our lv field is this only now we are executing this query so i am doing f6 you all know f6 is line by line execution so this particular line will execute i'm doing f6 and you can see in this internal table we have the two records for the order number two from the order item table and i will simply simply now execute i can check other scenario also Suppose I am clicking on to order number four. If I am simply executing on the secondary list, we are getting the details of order number four only. Now just think, we took a requirement. Same to same requirement we achieved through using the system variable psi l i s c l. Then we achieved the same to same requirement. At that time, we used the hide statement. Now, same to same requirement we are achieving through get cursor. But get cursor has additional advantage because get cursor is working on the columns. You can put the cursor on the individual column. Suppose if I will go for our current requirement. But we did. See, if user is putting the cursor on the order number column, then our program will work. Suppose user is putting the cursor on order number column. We are getting the result. Now, if user is putting the cursor on other columns, order date, payment mode and currency, in that case, we will not get anything. Suppose if I will put the cursor here and click on to this button. Have you seen? Nothing. We are not even going to the secondary list at all because this if condition is false itself because our column is not order number. Our column is order date. But yes, it is very useful or widely used in the projects if customer want different different secondary list on the selection of different different columns. Now what we will do in the next video, we will write the logic. We will go for or we will do some secondary list based upon order date also based upon payment mode also and based upon currency also. This is the additional, I'll say most important advantage of get cursor. You can go for different, different types of secondary list based upon the selection of the column where user is putting the cursor. 
on which column user is putting the cursor. So in the next video, I will write the logic for order date, payment mode and currency also. We will take small, small requirements and we will do this part also. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we saw in the debugging mode that in LV field, we are getting the column name. In LV value, we are getting the corresponding value. As of now, we are achieving same to same requirement. So in our current particular example, we took order number because we want to display the details of the order number from order item table based upon the order number. So we simply put the if condition. We are fetching data from order item table based upon the order number because in this LV value, we are getting the order number and we are displaying the result. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.